Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video. Here's the Samsung Galaxy S7 with triple camera setup. Now triple camera here in the sense there is one ultra wide angle just like uh, LG mobile phones they used to do back in uh, the days like maybe probably for two to three years now they have been giving an ultra wide setup but still rather than going for the telephoto lens now that's telephoto lens is coming to the A9 which has got the quad camera so there they have covered up all the different focal focal lens of the camera but here what Samsung has decided to give is the ultra wide setup it's also quite a unique thing I would say and you will also get the 120 degree of field of view that means 120 degree angle is covered from your eyes perspective that's really awesome pretty much you can capture uh, just very close to the subjects and you still get the everything in the frame that's really awesome about having an ultra wide setup there's also the primary camera which is 24 megapixel uh, rated at f 1.7 aperture that means in low light conditions the picture should be really awesome and along with that there is a depth sensor which is of 5 megapixel it should really help you give the background very blur or rather say defocus background uh, so that helps you with the primary camera to get some really nice looking bokeh effects from the primary camera so that's why the live focus of the samsung really works well when used properly we shall also test all these things as you guys know i make in-depth reviews of the camera of pretty much every phone that comes out in the market so if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button and do like this video if you want to see an in-depth review of the samsung galaxy s7 now there is a competitor to this obviously i made a video about that that's the vivo v11 pro there is also the oppo f9 pro which is also again competitor to these phones now what samsung has also decided is uh, to move the fingerprint scanner to the very convenient and very sensible way just uh, press the power button it acts as a fingerprint as well so there's the dual uh, double combo over there now it acts as a fingerprint it's very convenient way of unlocking your device that's a neat thing disappointing things here inside the samsung a7 it's pretty much same cpu and the chipset nothing new here the same old cortex a53 cpu which is also available in under 15000 rupees phones so that's one little disappointing thing i would say with the samsung a7 uh, with that said other than that they have given you samsung pay and all the features that usually samsung gives you so that you can enjoy your device uh, with that said let's uh, look at the samsung galaxy a7 in very closely also i'll uh, first boot the device so if you have bought the device and you don't know how to set up it for the first time this video should help you so here's the samsung galaxy a7 as you can see just now i turned on this device there is a fingerprint scanner built into this power device as well just like i talked earlier this is really convenient thing to operate the device so there is the power button as well as fingerprint scanner all right to begin with the setup just you have to tap on start and here it asks to insert the sim card uh, you can pretty much insert the sim card by using the sim card ejection tool that's available in the box itself just pop it in over here and the sim card tray just comes out just put the sim card as well as probably memory card if you have got that and later just tap on next now here's the time to connect to the wi-fi as it is showing so if you have got wi-fi network this is the time you need to connect because if there are any updates it will probably download the update and also install along the way but there is if there is no internet no problem you can always just tap on next instead of connecting to the wi-fi now you have to obviously agree to the terms and conditions let's uh, just tick on all these things now see here if there is the marketing information so if you don't want to enable this marketing information you can always disable this one later also you can enable this and i'll also diagnostic data if you want to remove that you can remove and then just press on agree once you do that here's the thing to name your device so you can go ahead and name your device give your name not abcd and here's the protect your phone here's the thing to set up face recognition fingerprint scanner set up in par pattern and password so right now let's go ahead and set up the face recognition i'll just tap on next continue now before we begin this setup you need to set up either a pin or pattern or the password we shall set up a pattern simple pattern so require pattern when device powers on so even if someone turns off the device without your permission and again if they turn on the device it asks for the pattern if that's the thing you want you can always use this otherwise do not require so depending on your convenience you can enable that so let's uh, go ahead and just create a simple pattern you can also create some complex patterns of your liking then tap on next again continue get ready to unlock your phone 
okay so let me show my face here hold your uh, phone 20 to 50 centimeter so here's the face recognition feature and i just turned on the faster recognition that means just powering on the device can um, easily recognize your face and unlock the device so just enable the faster recognition there are two ways either if you off it just recognizes and adds a security feature otherwise it can quickly unlock for you just like other devices and here's the setup for the notifications see what notifications you want on the lock screen that can be actually set up right over here itself otherwise you can always do these things later now for now just turn on the notifications you can hide the content from respective uh, apps so that only apps uh, logo is shown and not the notification itself or you can pretty much hide all the things of the settings and there is notification icon only so if you don't want the message just want the notification icon you can set it that way and if you disable this how much notification transparency you want you can always set this thing up here and once you are fine with that just tap on next your screen lock has been set up successfully we shall tap next here google services appear now just disable all these things later also you can enable it because this eats up a little bit of battery uh, it will rather take your system data for the update purpose later so just for now we shall disable it and just tap on i agree and here's the samsung account so if you have got samsung account you can sign in otherwise always you can create an account for the samsung so if you have got account go ahead and sign in otherwise just tap on this little arrow over here and skip so tap on skip twice and check out the useful features secure stuff extend your battery life that's the thing it tells you it has got all the features let's just say finish all done so here's the beautiful home screen of the samsung galaxy a7 as you can see swipe up for the app drawer swipe down swipe up there is this fluidness uh, it has got the cortex a53 cpu like i said a little bit disappointing thing but because it has got 6 gb ram it should work fine i say and if we move to the settings we shall quickly look at the about phone so about phone what's running inside here's the software information so samsung experience version 9.0 android version is 8.0 not even 8.1 uh, forget about the android pie probably uh, this will uh, probably get the updates later first quarter of 2019 i guess so here's the patch security patch level is updated to first september 2018 that's really nice so it's running at android 8.0 that was the software information and if we quickly look at the camera user interface you'll know if there is any pro mode here or not let's look at the camera user interface uh, location let's say cancel oh there's the bixby vision here waiting for you to recognize some subjects for you so if you want to move to the pro mode let's see if it has any pro mode this is the scene optimizer uh, basically it recognizes what scene it is and boosts accordingly it's just like a ai feature of other devices so here's the slow motion ar emoji hyperlapse some cool features from samsung so let's uh, quickly swipe right let's look at the pro mode so inside the pro mode there is this ISO, there is this white balance and exposure change and you have the metering method that's it no shutter speed uh, no other control over here just the basic stuff but still there is this exposure control as well as metering method. I will uh, show you in detail about the camera settings of the Samsung Galaxy S7 as you know I make detailed in depth camera settings videos. So stay tuned hit that like button if you want to see the comparison with the Vivo V11 Pro as well as Oppo F9 Pro. Alright guys, see you all in another one. This was just a quick video on first boot of the Samsung Galaxy A7. See you all in another one. Till then take care. Bye-bye.